The Hunger Games is one of my favorite franchises of all time. I think that all these movies are very good, very enjoyable, and with the release of Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes this weekend, I thought it would be a good time to go and rank all five Hunger Games films. In number five, we have Mockingjay Part 1. Now, just because this is last does not mean it's a bad film. I actually think it's a pretty good movie. First of all, just starting off with the action scenes, they are incredible. They are some of the best in the franchise here, and this movie also does a great job showing just how evil the capital is and what later they'll go to to stop Katniss. I mean, the hospital bombing scene is just absolutely brutal, and then Katniss's you'll burn with us speech is just so great. Jennifer Lawrence is so good in this role, and that scene in particular, and I love the Rebellion District 13 storyline that has started here. Just very good stuff, and the videos that the two sides make to try and win over the people of the country onto their side I think is very interesting, and I really like how they do that. My only kind of few problems with this movie is that PETA is very sidelined. He doesn't get to do much of anything in this movie. And also that this is very much a setup film. So while it's very solid, a lot of it is just set up for stuff that happens in Mockingjay Part 2, which means that the payoff isn't necessarily in this movie. And speaking of Mockingjay Part 2, that comes in at number 4. I think that this is a very solid finale and does a great job paying off all the stuff that happens in Part 1. And I just want to start off by talking about Primrose's death. I mean, keeping Primrose safe is the entire reason Katniss started her Hunger Games journey, and seeing her die because of kind of Katniss's own actions that have led up to this is absolutely heartbreaking, and the scene where Katniss is mourning Prim and goes back to the house is just the honestly the best acting in Jennifer Lawrence's entire career. She knocks it out of the park, and this movie just has a lot of interesting stuff. I love the scene where Katniss talks to President Snow and comes to realize that she's really just fighting to put another evil power in charge. And that makes it at the end where she's supposed to kill President Snow, but she ends up killing President Coin. And then she lets the people take back the land by killing President Snow is great writing. It's just really awesome. Very interesting to watch. And I love the ending this movie gives where Katniss and Peeta get together and they have a child together. It's just very nice. And this movie, of course, looks great, directed very well. The action is phenomenal. My only problem here is that the pacing is definitely a little bit off at some points, but overall, I thoroughly enjoy this movie. In number three, we have the new movie, the prequel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Now, I absolutely loved diving deeper into President Snow's background. I thought this was a very good slow burn origin story of how President Snow grew to become the man that we hate in the original movies. And Tom Blythe did an an absolutely incredible job playing a younger President Snow in this movie. He gave out so much range in his performance, and Rachel Ziegler was amazing as Lucy Gray in this film. I love the use of music with her character. I think it's very unique, and it's also a very cool way to set up their relationship together, and I absolutely loved seeing that. Having President Snow fall in love with a District 12 girl is a very nice parallel to his relationship later on with Katniss, who would kind of be his downfall. I think that that's a very interesting way to see how he rises to who he became through a District 12 girl and falls because of one. I really like that. And this movie also has a great action scenes. The Hunger Games stuff in this movie is very good. And the movie is also very well directed. There are so many beautiful shots. And just like always, the costumes and set design are absolutely top tier. So yeah, I had a great great time with this movie number two is the movie that started it all the original hunger games just starting off the world building in this movie is some of the best in the history of cinema through the costumes through the set design and the subtle use of exposition it just gets you so invested in this world and the movie does a great job of getting you to care about Katniss the characterization of the character and Jennifer Lawrence's performance are so good and her, I love her dynamic with Rue. It really does a great job showing us how much heart Katniss has. And the relationship that grows here between Katniss and Peeta, I really like. I think that they are both great characters. And Jennifer Lawrence and Josh Hutcherson are so great together. And I love how these two grow to become closer and also become faces of rebellion against the Capitol. And the supporting cast in this movie is just amazing. Woody Harrelson as Hamish and Elizabeth Banks as Effie Trinket. They are so good across the entire franchise. And without this strong of a supporting cast, the movies would not be what they are. And again, the action is just incredible. 
The music is so great. It's become so iconic for a reason. And this movie has become such a huge part of pop culture for a good reason. It took such a cool, unique premise and executed it absolutely perfectly. This film is really just such an amazing time. And in number one, we have The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Now, this movie is pretty widely regarded as the best in the franchise, and I definitely agree with that. We get to see the aftermath of what Katniss and Peeta did in the end of the first movie as they become kind of sort of symbols of hope and more and more districts are starting to rebel and go against the capital and we get to see the capital and the peacekeepers push back on them so incredibly hard i think that those scenes are so good and we also get woody harrelson's best performance in the franchise here i mean he knocks it out of the park in this movie and i love how we see president snow become scared of the inspiration that katniss is becoming to the general public and he wants to destroy their spirits by sending katniss back into the hunger games and killing her in the most brutal way he can and this really is gives us some of the best and most unique action in the entire franchise. And the Hunger Games themselves are just the coolest that they are in the entire franchise in this movie. I also love the development of Katniss and Peeta's relationship as they grow into a more real romance compared to the kind of forced one that they had in the original movie as they learn to care for each other more and more throughout this film the movie is also surprisingly funny i mean there are a lot of like laugh out loud scenes that are just genuinely hilarious this movie is also the best looking i mean there are so many shots in this movie that are just breathtaking the directing is just on another level here so overall this movie is better than the first one i think it's the best in the whole franchise and i just absolutely love this film there's my ranking of all five hunger games movies i think that they are all good movies i don't think that there's any bad ones so let me know your rankings in the comments below. I'm very interested to see how other people feel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!